I am the Jaguar of the Inca King. We are hiding from the conquistadors in the secret city of Vilcabamba. We are sick with a fever. We need medicine that only you can bring. Follow me back in time through the blue mist, up the Amazon River, to rescue my people. Out! I've been called to be in the lookout for a stranger. Who are you? See your papers are in order. Two to talk to Antonio, press this button. Hello, my friend. They call me Antonio. Antonio Santos Rios. Hello, I am Isabel. Isabel Santos Rios. Isabel is a good choice. Good luck on your journey. My name is Jose. I am a cattle rancher. I am getting permits to expand my cattle ranch by 500 acres. I manage 10,000 acres of land and 7,600 head of cattle. For if you're at Belém, you go west. I'm not much of a river person, but I do know that the next big city you come to is Santarém. It's September 4, 1993. It's very difficult to clear the rainforest. If it didn't rain so much, we could clear it faster. We are clearing the rainforest and planting grass to feed the cattle. Maybe. Here's what maybe. Here's what I have. I'm Anne, an American botanist. I work for an American pharmaceutical company. I'm looking for rainforest plants that can be used for medicinal purposes. I just returned from a three-month trek in northeastern Amazonia. We found several plants that might be useful in our cancer research. You're in Belém, near the mouth of the Amazon River. Head west and keep to the bank on your right. There are many pharmaceutical companies that have research stations in the area. They are doing research with the local experts who know the plants that grow here. Today, it's September 4th, 1993. The rainforest has many plants that we know little about. The native people have been using them for hundreds of years. Many of our prescription drugs come from the rainforest. We found over 1,400 plants with anti-cancer properties. I hope to find more, but we are in a race against time. Some say we are losing 100 acres of rainforest every minute. Maybe. Here is what I have. Maybe. Here is what I have. The Inca people are sick with malaria. Cinchona is a medicine for them. Your quest is to find some cinchona and bring it to the Inca king. What shall we do with this? That's great. 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 What shall we do with this? 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 What shall we do with this?
What should we do with this? What should we do with this? What should we do with this? We need to get moving along. What should we do with this? That's What should we do with this? That's great. What should we do with this? That's great. What should we do with this? That's great! What should we do with this? That's What should we do with this? That's great. What should we do with this? That's great! What should we do with this? I don't think that... What should we do with this? That's great! We'll add... What should we do with this? That's great! What should we do with this? 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 We have passed through a blue mist into another time and place. Careful, we've lost half our food. What should we do with this? 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 What should we do with this?
I have bad news. I think we've reached. My name is Claudio Villas Boas. I am leading an expedition to build airplane landing strips across southeastern Amazonia. I am also trying to make contact with the tribes along the Xingu River. I am trying to start a national park that will protect the tribal peoples along the Xingu River. If I can show the government that the Indians need protection, perhaps they'll establish one. You are at the mouth of the Xingu River. Stay off the Xingu and head west. Keep to the bank on your left till you reach Santa Rain. The area around the Xingu supports many tribes who know about medicinal plants. The Cayapo, the Shuruna, the Shipaya, the Munduruku, and the Bororo. Some mysterious tribes, like the Krina Crore, have for years killed all intruders on site. I'm sure it's sometime in June of 1946. The rainforest is thick and sheltering. It hides and protects many tribes. The forest has given them everything they need. Food, housing, clothing, medicines, musical instruments. The rainforest is huge. There is room for everyone. Amazonia can hold cities and tribal villages too. Maybe. Here's what I have. What should we trade? That is not a good offer. Perhaps we should try again. That is not a good offer. Perhaps the offer was accepted. What do you say? What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? Is it a deal? My name is Richard Evan Schultes. I am an ethnobotanist. I am studying the Amazon tribes and the rainforest plants they use for medicine. I work with the medicine men of each tribe to learn which plants they use and how. Each medicine man is like a library of information. When a medicine man dies, it's like a library burning down. My name, I am studying the Amazon tribes and the rainforest plants they use for medicine. I have lived with Amazon rainforest tribes for almost 10 years. You're at the mouth of the Xingu River. Head towards Santa Rain. It's seven days or so west of here. Just past the Xingu, you need to keep to the left until you reach Santa Rain. You're at the mouth of the Xingu River. Head towards Santa Rain. Just past the Xingu, you need to keep to the left until you reach... Well, let's see. It's mid-July in 1946, isn't it? The rainforest is a huge pharmacy. Native people use many rainforest plants as medicine. Over the centuries, they have gained an extensive medical knowledge. No one knows how many plant species are in the rainforest. Maybe 80,000 species. Many of these plants have chemical compounds that are valuable to modern medicine. Maybe here is what. What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? What should we trade? That is not a good offer. Perhaps that is not a good offer. Perhaps the offer was accepted. What? We are somewhere near the mouth of the Xingu River. The Inca King is pleased with your success. He would also like you to bring a passion flower. Remember, the real dangers are the fears we carry in our mind. What should we do with this? What should we do with this? That's great. What should we do with this? That's great. <laughs> what should we do with this? The Inca King, if remember. What should we do with this? That's good. What should we do with this?
What should we do with this? What should we do with this? What should we do with this? What should we do with this? What should we do with this? What should we do with this? What should we do with this? What should we do with this? What should we do with this? Hey, you seem to be fit. We are somewhere near the mouth of the Shingu. somewhere on the Amazon River between the mouth of What should we do with this? That's great! What should we do with this? That's great! What should we do with this? That's great. The Inca King is pleased. Remember. What should we do with this? That's great! What should we do with this? That's great! Here is an update on our... If you'd like to read, that's a good idea! Let's rest for a week. Here is an update on our situation. somewhere on the Amazon River. We are somewhere on the Amazon. We've reached Santaren. My name is Henry Ford. I am an American industrialist. I am starting a huge rubber plantation called Fordlandia, but the work has been going badly. We planted the rubber trees in straight rows, but they are dying from disease. I came to Brazil to start a rubber plantation so that I could supply my factories with all the rubber I needed, without having to go to Mr. Goodyear. You are at the mouth of the Tapajos River. Bear to the right as soon as you leave Santa Rain. Then after that, keep to the left bank. We're building a road from Santa Rain south to Belterra, and then to my plantation. It will make transportation easier. Oh, I believe it's May 23rd, 1938. I'm coming to believe that the rainforest cannot be managed like a plantation. In the wild, rainforest plants grow all mixed together. You don't find a grove of rubber trees. 
They're scattered throughout the forest. When we try growing them together, they spread diseases and pests much faster. Maybe. Here is what I have. What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? What should we trade? That is not a good offer. Perhaps we should try again. The offer was accepted. What do you say? Is it a deal? My name is Emilio. I am a serengeto, a rubber worker. I am tapping rubber trees at Fort's plantation that they call Fort Landia. I hate the way Fort treats us. He makes us live in his houses and eat American food. He even makes a square dance. I'd rather work for myself. You are near the mouth of the Tapajos River. You have to leave Santarém and cross the river. When you find the other bank, it's only a big island. Follow it around to the west and then stay on the left bank. This place is no good. You should leave as soon as you can. I'm not sure. It's in May. It's 1938. This is a remote place. It is strange to be growing rubber trees in straight lines when they grow naturally all over the rainforest. Ford's property is very hilly and rocky. We clear it to plant the rubber trees. Then, heavy rains washed away the soil and flooded the valleys. Now, the young rubber trees we planted are suffering from some strange disease. Sure, I have some things. What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? Is it a deal? The Inca king is pleased with remember. What should we do with this? 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 We need to get moving along. We are somewhere near Santarén. No, we can't turn around. We are somewhere near Santarén. What should we do with this? That's great! <coughs> what should we do with this? I don't think that is correct. What should we do with this? 
That's great. We are somewhere near Santarén. We are somewhere near Santarén. We are somewhere near the mouth of the Tapajós River. What should we do with this? That's <laughs> What should we do with this? I don't think that What should we do with this? That's great. I think a Munduruku Indian We are somewhere on the Tapajós River. Okay, we'll return to this part. What should we do with this? That's great. What should we do with this? That's great! <laughs> what should we do with this? 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 We need to get moving along. We are somewhere near Santarén. We are somewhere near the mouth of the Tapajós River. I have bad news. Hey, 
you seem to be we are somewhere near the mouth of the Tapal remember we are somewhere on the okay we'll return to this part of the river What shall we do with this? That's Remember Here is an update on our situation if you yes we can rest for three days here is an update on our if you'd like to yes we can rest for three days Here is an update on if you yes we can rest for 3 days Here is an update on our situation What should we do with this That's We've reached it. My name is Claude Lévi-Strauss. I am a French anthropologist. I am studying the native tribes along the Amazon by living with them and seeing how they live together. I have been living among the Amazonian native tribes for almost four years. We are near the mouth of the Trombetas River. You have to cross the river and keep to the left bank for quite a while. Manaus is several hundred miles up river. To the north, there are no roads for hundreds of miles, but there are many villages along the rivers. It's sometime in June 1938. The rainforest is strange and complex. In the rainforest, it's dark and shadowy. You can never see very far. The rainforest protects, shelters, and provides for tribal people who want to live simply in it. Deep in the rainforest are people who don't want you to visit. They don't want anything to do with your modern life. 
when the rainforest dies, those people die too. Maybe here is what I have. What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? Is it a deal? Maybe here is what I have. I am Colonel Percy Harrison Fawcett. I am an explorer and adventurer. I am searching the Brazilian rainforest for a lost city I call Zed. It has big buildings and a great temple. They say the temple has a large disk cut out of rock crystal and the light never goes out of it. I believe the rainforest holds many hidden remains of ancient civilizations. I have spent many years searching for these remains all over Brazil. You are near the Trombetas River. It flows from the north. You need to cross the Amazon and follow a large island to the left or west. Then stay in the middle of the river. I believe that somewhere near here is the lost city of Zed. I'm looking for carved rocks they say are hidden in the forest. It is sometime in July, 1925. There are many rivers through the rainforest which are little known. They may lead to lost cities like those of old Peru that have been swallowed by the rainforest. There are thousands of rivers. They become backwater creeks leading to swampy lagoons that broaden into shallow lakes. Then the rivers meander through the heavy rainforest. It is easy to get lost and easy to understand how cities may become lost in the maze of rivers. Maybe here is... What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? Is it a deal? The Inca king is pleased with your success. Remember. What shall we do with this? 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 We need to get moving along. I have bad news. I hey, you seem to be... We are somewhere near the mouth of the Trompetas River.
What should we do with this? That's great. What should we do with this? That's great. What should we do with this? That's great. I have bad news. The Inca King is pleased with your success. Remember. What should we do with this? That's great. What should we do with this? That's great. Hey, you seem to be feeling... We are somewhere on the Amazon River between the mouth of the trombet. What should we do with this? What should we do with this? That's good. What should we do with this? 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 We need to get moving along. We've reached the Madeira. I am Coronel Cândido Rondon. I 
have been working with the Brazilian government to explore unmapped areas and erect telegraph lines. We must respect the native people who live here. My motto is, die if necessary, never kill. I am traveling with President Roosevelt on a scientific expedition to map and explore the area around the River of Doubt. I have explored and mapped much of the Madeira and other rivers. I discovered the River of Doubt that flows into the Madeira. One time, my party lived for four months on game, fruit and honey. We were so weak, we could barely crawl. You are at the mouth of the Great Madeira, the longest tributary of the Amazon. Keep to the right as you live here. The area is dangerous. There is little room for air. The rainforest hides much and loses many. Many rivers divide and run together in the dark shadows of the rainforest. The dangers are not piranhas, caimans, jaguars, or headhunters. The real dangers are insects, fever, and dysentery. I can't be sure exactly. It's June 1914. There are vast areas of the Amazon basin that are known only to the tribes that live there. The rainforest is the home to many Amazonian tribes. They are by nature peaceful and friendly, but suspicious and fearful of strangers. I have met many and consider them to be my friends. I can't be sure that our vast rainforest is maybe. Here's what I have. Maybe. Here's what I have. I am Theodore Roosevelt, the former president of the United States, explorer, naturalist, author, and big game hunter. We have been on a scientific expedition to explore and map unknown rivers in the Amazon basin. It is interesting work. No white man has ever gone down this river or seen the country through which we've passed. I am a shadow of my former self. My son, Kermit, and I nearly drowned in a whirlpool when our canoe capsized. I've had a fever and dysentery. I have a wound on my leg. My heart is not very good. A while ago, I even asked the party to leave me behind, but they wouldn't. The date is June 21st, 1914. The Amazon River Valley is immensely rich and fertile. There are great stretches of virgin wilderness. Through it, the great Amazon flows. Our party has collected over 2,500 birds, 500 mammals, and a number of reptiles. Many of our specimens are new to science. Travel through the rainforest is difficult. Your clothes are never dry. Your shoes get rotten. Bruises become sores. Insect bites become festering wounds. Poisonous ants, biting flies, Ticks, wasps, bees, and mosquitoes are a perpetual torment. You are at the mouth of the Madeira River. It will take you south for almost 2,000 miles. I'm not sure. I haven't explored the upper Amazon. I imagine you stay to the left. The area is full of unexplored rivers. The conquest of wild nature demands vigor and daring it takes a heavy toll on life and health. Genuine exploration is as dangerous as warfare. Maybe, here's what I have. What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? Is it a deal? Here is an update. If you'd like, to yes, we can rest for three days.
Here is an update on our situation. If you'd like, yes, we can rest for three days. Here is an update. If you'd like, yes, we can rest for three days. Here is an update on our system. If you'd like, all right, let's try it. The Inca King is pleased with your success. He would also like you to bring a woven basket. Remember. We are somewhere near the mouth of the Madeira River. We are somewhere near the mouth of the Madeira River. We are somewhere on the Amazon River between the mouth of the Madeira River and Manaus. What should we do with this? That's Remember We are somewhere near Mana We've reached Manaus. My name is Henry Walter Bates. I am an English naturalist. I've been exploring a large part of the Amazon for several years. I am concentrating my studies on insects. I decided to come here because both Mr. Wallace and I read incredible accounts of men who had explored the Amazon. We hope to unravel the mystery of the origin of species. We are amazed at the diversity of life forms. You are at the mouth of the Rio Negro at the river city called Barra, the headquarters of mosquitoes. You need to cross the river and keep the left bank in sight. The Rio Negro is a blackwater river. There are few fish. Up river, there are many islands. The river has what geologists call a braided drainage. You can get lost among all those islands. It is March 21, 1850, the end of the rainy season. The forest has a feeling of inhospitable wilderness. There is a silence and gloom in the Brazilian forests. The few sounds of birds are of a mysterious character that intensifies the feeling of solitude. In the rainforest, many sounds are impossible to account for. Sometimes, you think you hear an iron bar clang against a hollow tree or a piercing cry tear through the still air. The silence that follows is haunting. The natives say the Curapira, 
The wild man or spirit of the forest makes all the noises that can't be explained. Maybe. Here is what I have. What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you, what should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? Is it a deal? I am Alfred Russell Wallace. I am a naturalist from England, studying the Amazon rainforest. I am collecting plant and animal specimens in the Amazon basin. I hope to find the answer to the origin of species. I have just returned from a trip up the Rio Negro. I've been collecting mostly birds, fish, and insects. I found 40 new species of butterflies. You are at Barra, a fort city at the mouth of the Rio Negro. It is a muddy, wretched place. The Rio Negro flows from the northeast. You need to go west from here. The Rio Negro is an enormous, wide, blackwater river. It is the color of slate. It is so crowded with islands that for nearly 500 miles you can hardly ever see from the north bank to the south. Today is September 23, 1851, the end of the dry season. There are no other forests in the world that are so extensive, so unbroken, so varied. The valley of the Amazon is covered with one dense and lofty primeval forest. There is a great variety of species, and we scarcely ever see two individuals of the same species together. There is a grandeur and solemnity in the tropical forest, but little of beauty or brilliancy. The huge buttressed trees, the fissured trunks, the extraordinary air routes, the twisted and wrinkled climbers, and the elegant palms strike the attention and fill the mind with admiration, surprise, and awe. Maybe, here is what I have. Maybe, here is what I have. The Inca King is pleased with your success, remember. What should we do with this? We are somewhere near Manaus. I have bad news. I think you're... Here is an update on our situation. What should we do with this? 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 
What shall we do with this? We need to get moving along. What shall we do with this? That's great. Hey, you seem to be feeling a We are somewhere on the Rio Negro. Okay, we'll return to this part of the river. Here is an update on our situation. We are somewhere near Manaus. I have bad news. I think... We are somewhere near Manaus. is an update on if you'd like yes we can rest for three days here is an update on our situation if you'd like to rest if you'd like to change our pace it's up to you what do you want to do we are somewhere near Manaus We are somewhere on the... Okay, we'll return to this... We are somewhere near Manaus. Hey, you seem to be... What should we do with this? That's great. What should we do with this? That's great. We What should we do with this? What should we do with this? What should we do with this? That's great.
What shall we do with this? That's great. What shall we do with this? That's great. Here is an update on if you that's a good idea. Let's rest for a week. Here is an update on our si I have bad news. We are somewhere near the mouth of the Purus River. Hey, you seem to be feeling a lot better now. Remember. We've reached the... I am Paikun from the Kayapo people. I am working in my garden with the mulch from plant ash that replenishes the soil. In order to grow well, Plants need to be next to special plants. We say they are friends that grow up together. Banana trees surround my garden to attract wasps that eat the leaf-eating ants. Later today, I will be going out into the rainforest to plant Brazil nuts. They need to be scattered through the forest. I will also be tending my beehives that I have scattered through the forest. We have developed several stingless bees. You are at the mouth of the great Purus River. Up river, follow the shoreline as it leads west. The area is rich with herbs for medicines. You can find 185 different kinds of herbs for medicine. We know of 600 different animals that we use for food and medicine. There are 250 kinds of dysentery that we cure with special herbs for each. The date? I don't know what you mean by this. The forest is one big thing. It has animals, people, plants. You can't save animals if the forest burns down. You can't save the forest if the people and animals are driven away. People trying to save animals can't win if people trying to save rainforest lose. Those working to save the Indians can't win if others lose. No one can win alone. Together we are strong enough to win. You think the rainforest is wild. My grandmother's grandmothers were caring for it before the white men came. This is our garden. I am trying to save the knowledge that the forest is alive and give it back to you who have lost that understanding. Of course. What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? Is it a deal? What should we trade? explorer, rebel, and traitor. We are going down the Amazon to conquer the Indians, find El Dorado, gain wealth, and rule all the lands we see. We have declared ourselves independent of Spain. We have our own prince of Tierra Firme and Peru. We will kill, loot, and burn our way back to Peru, where we will conquer Peru for ourselves. You are somewhere between Peru and the Atlantic Ocean on the Amazon. I am not navigating, I am conquering. I know nothing about this area except it is wet and filled with mosquitoes and enemies. It is
it is maybe April 1560. We are living in a deserted village somewhere along the banks of the Amazon. Hunting is nearly impossible. Food is difficult to get unless we raid a village. This vast and unknown territory is hiding riches and gold. We will find it. You'd better have something good. Here is what I have. What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? Is it a deal? The Inca King is pleased with your success. Remember. What should we do with this? 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 We need to get moving along. We are somewhere near the mouth of the Purus River. What should we do with this? That's great. I have bad news. Here is an update on our situation. If you, that's a good idea. Let's rest for a week. Here is an update on our situation. If you'd like to rest, that's a good idea. Let's rest for a week. Hey, you seem to be feeling a lot better now. Here is an update on our situation. We are somewhere near Tefe. Remember. What should we do with this? That's great.
We've reached the My name is Elizabeth Agassiz. I am traveling with my husband, Louis Agassiz. He is studying the animals and plants of the Amazon basin. I am keeping a journal of our travels that will be published in Boston. We are interested in the Amazon fish. Until our visit, only a hundred species were known. We estimate that we have identified almost 2,000 species of Amazon fish. Scientists will be very skeptical. That is more than all the species in the Atlantic Ocean. You are at Tefe, near the mouth of the Japura River. I don't know. I have not been farther upriver than this. This part of the river supports many fishermen. Along the banks, you often see people hanging their catch to dry or else salting it. Along the beaches of the river, you will also find the nests of alligators, turtles, and many different birds. It is October 4, 1865. Many rainforest trees are unknown to science, but the Indians, as practical botanists and zoologists, are well acquainted with them. It would be a great scientific contribution if an encyclopedia of the rainforest were systematically made, taken down from the tribes that live there. The forest here is full of life and sound. The buzz of insects, the shrill cry of the cicadas, the chattering talk of the papagayos, and the busy voices of the monkeys. One is constantly tempted by the cool, pleasant shade and by the perfume of moss and fern and flower. Perhaps, here, perhaps, here is what I have. I am Bakodori from the Boris tribe. I am tending my garden. My garden is my pantry, my spice shelf, my medicine cabinet, my tool shop, and my flower garden. It is also my shade, my windbreak, and my shelter. I have peppers, fruits, herbs, roots, vegetables, beans, and corn. I have lechecas beef for chewing gum, vegetable ivory for making buttons, rosewood oil for soaps and perfumes, barbasco against mosquitoes, pinho colorado for diarrhea. I have over 70 different plants in my garden. Where are we? We are in the rainforest, on what you call the Amazon River. Follow the setting sun. The area is rich in fruits, palms, woods, fishes, animals, and people. It is at the end of the rainy season. Let me tell you a story. The twins' grandfather had a special place to get water in a huge tree. He tapped it with a little spigot when he wanted to wash. The twins quietly followed him into the forest to find his secret tree. When they found it, they chopped it down. The water gushed out all at once, forming the Amazon. When the twins chopped down the tree, the water flowed out, making the Amazon. They threw in the wood chips from the tree, saying, this is for all people, and the chips became fish. It is at the end of the rainy season. Let me tell you a story. Yes. I like to trade. Yes, I like to trade. Here is what I have.
What should we do with this? We are somewhere on the Amazon River between Tefe and the mouth of the Icharu. We are somewhere on the Amazon River between the I have bad news. Here is an update on our... If you'd like to rest, that... Sure, let's rest for a day. What should we do with this? 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 We need to get moving along. Here is an update. If you... That's a good idea. Let's rest for a week. Hey, you seem to be fit. Here is an update on our si We are somewhere on the Amazon River. We've reached the each. My name is Maria. I am a graduate student in biology. I am studying how deforestation affects symbiotic relationships. Many plants and insects develop mutually beneficial relationships. They depend on each other to survive. Cutting down the rainforest destroys those relationships. It is like tipping over the first domino in a long line of dominoes. I am trying to find out how the Cecropia tree and the Azteca ants live together. The rainforest is a very complicated environment. We don't know how it works, really. You are at the mouth of the Isha River. Follow the Long Island across the river. Keep the left bank in sight. I haven't been much farther than that.
The area around here contains very thick forests. The river is wide and there are lots of islands. In the rainy season, the forest is flooded. The people living along the river might grow plantains, papaya, corn, manioc, tomatoes, peppers, pineapple, and watermelon. You are at the mouth. Follow the Long Island across the river. Keep the left bank in sight. I haven't been much farther than that. The area around here today is August 13, 1993. The rainforest is the home of many good examples of symbiotic relationships. The ant and the cecropia, the fig tree and the fig wasp, the passion flower and the heliconius butterfly. Some species are very specialized. They depend on a specific set of conditions. If their environment is disturbed, they might become extinct. The rainforest here is fragile and being damaged by logging, farming, and ranching. It takes several days of hard walking to get to rainforest that hasn't been damaged by people. That depends. Here is what... What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you what should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? Is it a deal? I am a Witoto Indian. You wouldn't understand my name. I am gathering palm for basket making. We use palm for lots of things. Baskets, roofs, buildings, and even food. I also collect aguaje, the fruit of a special palm and sell it in the market in town. From Peru to Colombia, people love the aguaje. The fruit makes delicious popsicles and ice cream. We also use it to make a drink. You are on the mouth of the Icha River. You need to stay to the left. The Icha River, when it crosses the border with Colombia, is called the Putumayo. You can follow the Putumayo along the border between Colombia and Peru to Ecuador. It's a long river and many of my people live along it. Today, I can't be sure. Perhaps it is August now. August 1993. You need a boat to explore some parts of the rainforest here. In the flooded palm swamps, you find the aguaje palm. The female tree makes the fruit. The male tree is 80 feet tall. We use the leaves for roofing. Its leaf stalks make good bottle corks. The trunk holds very tasty beetle grubs. The rainforest has many trees. We know all their names. We have a use for each one. I hear white men say that people are either gatherers or farmers. There are many places in between. We are gatherers and farmers. We tend the forest and we gather from it. Of course, here is what I have. Of course, here is what should we trade? That is not a good offer. Perhaps we should try it. The offer was accepted. We are somewhere near the mouth of the Icha River. We are somewhere near Leticia. Remember, the Inca King wants you to find a man.
with Rich Leticia. I am from the Tucuna tribe. I can't tell you my real name. I am building a new house. I am using the Irapai palm to build the roof. I split the trunks of another palm for walls and flooring. The columns are made from another hard, insect-proof wood. I use other hardwoods for the poles and beams. I use vines to tie it all together. There are special qualities to each wood. I know them all, each fiber, and the best for each particular purpose. I know where to get them in the rainforest. I also plant trees in the rainforest so that I can use them later. You are at the mouth of the Javari River on the Amazon. Well, up river is to the west. I can't tell you how to get there. You have to know. This area is tricky and full of islands. Many islands. You can't really see the whole width of the river. When in doubt, stay right. That's what I always say. Today? Today is today. You have the watch, don't you? The rainforest is our home. An old, old story says the first person called the people to come out of the underworld in a great river. He was standing in a great canoe, saying, Come, come, let's go. But the canoe was really the body of a giant anaconda. The anaconda canoe brought us to our home. Let's talk about rivers. You say the headwater, and you mean its beginning. You say mouth, but you mean its end. To us, rivers are like snakes. The mouth is the beginning, the head, where a river's force is. What you call headwater, we call the tail. The river is a snake stretching out over the land. The ripples of the snake's muscles are rapids and falls. There is a dark power in rivers. Of course, trading is good. Of course, trading is good. Here is what... I am Isabella Godin. I am trying to get to Berlin. I left Quito some time ago to find my husband. I think he is in Berlin. Our canoe hit a log and crashed. I lost my four children and three servants. I've been wandering through the forest for nine days without food. I am alone and lost. I can't be sure. I descended the Napo River and entered the main river many weeks ago. If you stay to the left, I think you will proceed upriver. There are friendly Indians in the forest here who have helped me, given me food, and canoed me to this point. They even gave me cloth for clothes. Without their help, I surely would have met the same fate as my children. It is the last month of 1769. The rainforest is bewildering and monotonous. It is thick with grasses, palms, tropical creepers and shrubbery, where clearing a path requires a bush hook and a great deal of time. I have been lost many times, wandering among the trees and ferns for days by myself. The forest is a shelter and a trap. Getting lost in it, one has a feeling of moving in circles, seeing the same thing day after day. But the rainforest also has much to sustain you. Wild fruits, seeds, cabbage palms, and plenty of water. Perhaps. Here is what I have. Perhaps. Here is what I have. What should we do with this? That's...
What should we do with this? That's great. We are somewhere near Leticia. Remember. We are somewhere on the Amazon River between Leticia. What should we do with this? 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 We need to get moving along. We've reached the Napo River. I am Captain Pedro de Teixeira, explored for King Philip of Lisboa. I am trying to navigate from Belém to Quito along the Amazon. I have been traveling upriver for several months with 80 soldiers, 1,200 Indians, and 47 canoes. It is a dangerous and exhausting mission. You are at the mouth of the Napo. I am marking this spot with a carved log to claim the Amazon River Basin for Philippe IV. King, I can't understand your question. You bear to the right to go to Quito. I don't know where the river to the left leads. I believe the Spanish Empire lies to the northwest. Most of this area is under the control of two great Indian nations, the Omagua and the Solimões. You are at the mouth of the Napo. I am marking this spot with a carved log to claim the Amazon River Basin for Philippe IV. King of Portugal. It is February 1638. The rainforest holds great wealth for Portugal. The river is full of fish. The forest is full of game. The air is full of birds. The trees are covered with fruit. The plains are covered with corn. The earth is rich in mines. The natives have much skill and ability. The rainforest here shelters great tribes of Amagua Indians, the most intelligent and best governed of any on the river. They grow corn, squash, potatoes, peppers. They eat turtles, manatees, fish, iguanas, and tapirs. They have wonderful pottery. They make their own cloth from cotton. They are peaceful and gracious. Perhaps, here is what I have. Perhaps, here is what I have. I am Captain Francisco de Orellana, conquistador and servant to Ferdinand and Isabella, King and Queen of Spain. I am sailing down river from Quito in search of food, spices and El Dorado. My commander, Gonzalo Pizarro, waits for me to return, but it will be impossible. In no other way except down river can our lives be saved. You are at the mouth of the Napo River. I do not know. We came down river from Quito on the river that flows from the north. I am lost myself. We have traveled down this river for several days without discovering any food. 
We were eating hides, straps, and shoe soles until we found an Indian village. Today is, with some confidence, March 13, 1542. The rainforest. This inferno is dense, impenetrable, and thick with vines, underbrush, palms, and ferns. The mosquitoes and other insects make it almost unbearable. There are many warriors lurking throughout the forest. We have even seen women warriors. These Amazons, as I call them, are very white and tall and have long hair. They use bows and arrows. Each one does as much fighting as 10 Indian men. Of course, I have very little and there is much I need. Of course, I have very little and there is much I need. We are somewhere near the mouth of the Napoli. somewhere near the mouth of the Nap. We are somewhere near the mouth of the Napo River. Here is an update on our situation. If you'd like that's a good idea. Let's rest for a week. Here is an app if you that's a good idea. Let's rest for a week. Here is an update on our situation. We are somewhere on the Amazon River. We are somewhere near Iquitos. We are somewhere near... We are somewhere near... We are somewhere on the Amazon River between Iquitos and the mouth of the Marañón River. I have bad news. We are somewhere on the Amazon River, but no, we can't turn around. I have bad. Here is an update on our situation.
What should we do with this? 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 We need to get moving a lot. Here is an update on our situation. If you'd like to, you can change our rations. It's good. Let if you, that's a good idea. Let's rest for a week. Here is an update on our situation. If you, that's a good idea. Let's rest for a week. Here is an update if you'd like that's a good idea. Let's rest for a week. Hey, you seem to be feeling Here is an update on our si We've reached the My name I am Richard Spruce, a botanist from Great Britain. I came to Brazil in 1849 and have been exploring for 10 years. I am collecting cinchona seeds and growing 100,000 seedlings for British India. We'll set up plantations to produce quinine, a very effective treatment for malaria. It will be good for Great Britain to have its own source of quinine. I am helping Clements Markham, who will smuggle the cinchona to India. It's illegal to take seedlings out of the country. The Peruvian government wants to maintain a monopoly. But the demand for quinine is high. Malaria is a big problem in India. Growing cinchona there will lower the price and bring relief to a vast number of people. You are at the mouth of the Marignon River. In Twill, upriver is south. No one has explored that area. You are near the Andes Mountains. If you head west, you will catch a glimpse of them. Why, I believe it is October 21, 1859. In Peru, the rainforest is full of many unique ferns and mosses. I've collected 1,094 species of flowers and ferns. I have calculated the number of species that remain to be discovered. There should still remain some 50,000 or even 80,000 species undiscovered. The woods along the Amazon are so tall that they reach to the clouds. So thick that it causes astonishment. Here is timber. Here are cables made from the bark of a certain tree. Here is an excellent pitch and tar. Here is an oil. Here is cloth for sails. And finally, here is a great multitude of people, so that there is nothing wanting. I am not sure I should. I, do. I am not sure I should. I'm always interested in a. I'm always interested in a good bar. My name? I'm Baron Friedrich Wilhelm Karl Heinrich Alexander von Humboldt of Berlin, scientist, naturalist, traveler, explorer, and geographer. I am on an expedition for the government of Spain. I'm making astronomical observations, measuring the rivers, taking samples of plants and animals and recording whatever observations we may make for the benefit of science in general.
For several years, my partner and I have canoed from Berlin to the Andes, collecting specimens and making observations. I have a toucan, a macaw, seven parrots, two mannequins, a motmot, and eight monkeys traveling with us. Quite a menagerie. Where? You do not know? You are at the mouth of the great Marignon River that flows out of the Andes. Up river? I'm not sure what you mean. The Marignon is up river. To the south is unexplored. The Marignon contains a rich harvest of plants that we have collected for scientific study. There are many birds and animals too. Today is June 7th, 1800. What is the rainforest like? It is beautiful. It is rich and varied. Everything is gigantic. The deep silence of these solitudes, the beauty in contrast, the vigor of the plants will remain my lasting impression of the tropics. At times, traveling in our canoe, we pass through what appear to be canyon walls of green plants so thick and so tall, right to the edge of the water, that it is impossible to land the canoe and get out to explore. We are somewhere near the mouth of the Marañón River. We are somewhere near the mouth of the Marañón River. I have bad. Here is an app. If you that's a good idea. Let's rest for a week. Here is an update on our situation. What should we do with this? 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 Here is an app. If you that's a good idea, let's rest for a week. Here is an update. If you that's a good idea, let's rest. Here is an app. If you that's a good idea, here is an update. If you that's a good idea, let's rest for a week. Hey, you seem to be feeling. Here is an update on our situation. We've reached Pucalpa. Sure, I don't have much. Sure, I don't have much. What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? Is it a deal? Perhaps. I'm not trading. What should we trade? 
The offer was accepted. What do you say? Is it a deal? Hello. I am Lauren McIntyre. I am exploring the Peruvian rainforest, looking for the source of the Amazon. I am a photographer and author. I have lived in and explored much of South America for over 20 years. You are at the city of Pacalpa, on a part of the Amazon they call the Ucayali. You must continue south, upriver. Well, you are in the Amagua, or Amazonian region of Peru. It is a low forest region. You won't find many people, but in the forest and waters you'll find thousands of species. Plants, animals, and fish. Today, I think it is August 23rd, 1964. There are lots of lakes, marshes, and other flooded areas throughout the forest. The Amazon, or the Ucayali as it's called here, meanders through the rainforest. Hundreds of years ago, the Inca Empire stretched into the rainforest east of the Andes. Many Inca ruins are hidden in the rainforest. It seems like every year, someone finds another lost city. I have met many of the tribes that live in these forests. I have even been initiated into their secret male lodges. I have danced with them. I do not think they want civilization. Some even try to elude it. How do you do? I'm Gene Savoy, an American archaeologist. I'm looking for the lost city of Vilcabamba, the hidden city where the Incas retreated from the Spanish conquistadors. I'm exploring an area called El Espiritu Pampa, the Plain of Ghosts with the Andean Explorers Club. We found extensive ruins south of here. The jungle has swallowed a city that we think is Vilcabamba, the lost city of the Incas. An American archaeologist, Hiram Bingham, rediscovered Machu Picchu 50 years ago and claimed it was the lost city of the Incas. We think he was wrong. The Incas hid in the rainforest, not high in the mountains. You are at Pucallpa on the Ucayali, the Peruvian part of the Amazon. Well, I don't know much about the rivers. Keep going south. To the south of us, we have found a huge ancient city. There are 50 or 60 buildings and maybe 300 houses. All of it is covered with mosses, lianas, lichen, and rainforest trees a hundred feet tall. We are sure it is the remains of Vilcabamba, the lost city of the Incas. It is July 17th, 1964. The rainforest is thick, and the floor of the forest is damp and dark. Beneath the ferns and creeping vines, a stone sticks out, the corner of an ancient building. We have found ceramic stucco walls, a sunken palace, a temple, a ceremonial center, and other evidence that the city was Vilcabamba. The thick undergrowth and huge trees that cover the area make surveying and mapping almost impossible. We have had to cut and clear the rainforest just to measure the walls of each building. The Inca king is pleased with your sick. Remember. We are somewhere near Pucallpa. Hey, you seem to... What should we do with this? That's great. What should we do with this? That's great.
The Inca king is pleased. Remember. Remember, the Inca king wants you to find some manioc. I would like to. Here is all I would like to. Here is all I have. Maybe. Here is what maybe. Here is what I have. I am Jose Gabriel Tupac Amaru, the great 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 grandson of the last Inca king, Tupac Amaru. I am leading an Inca revolt against Spain. I am the only one who remains of the royal blood of the Inca, kings of the kingdom. I have decided to well. Our revolt started with just a few are up river. The area today, the room, the Apurimac Valley is a mystery. I would like to. Here is all I have. I would like to. Here is all I have. I am a ma You wouldn't understand my root. You are at the That is a silly No. You are near that me times children. Maybe. Here is what I have. What should we trade? The offer was accepted. What do you say? Is it Here is an update on our situation. We have no more first aid. Here is an update. If you'd like to, that's a good idea. Let's rest for a week. Here is an update on our situation. What should we do with this? 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 We are somewhere near the mouth of the up. Hey, you seem to be. We are somewhere near the mouth of. We are somewhere near the mouth. What should we do with this? That's great. Hey, you see. We've reached Vilcabamba.
I am the Inca king. My name is Tito Cusi. My father, Manco Inca, established this hidden rainforest city. He fled from Cusco with a few thousand Inca warriors. We have lived here since 1533, almost 40 years now. Our warriors have joined forces with many of the forest tribes. The tribes are fierce in defending their lands against the Spanish invaders. Thank you for bringing the Cinchona to save my people. Thanks to you, we will be able to resist the conquistadores. In honor of your quest, I give you a symbol of your valiant journey. I give you this golden Inca shield. Click on a part of the shield and I'll interpret it for you. Jaguar holds a ruby for every mammal you identified. Each topaz stone stands for a person that you encounter. This jar contains a golden barrel gem for each trade item you collected. There is a diamond on the lizard for each reptile you identified. The piranha has a noble for each type of fish you caught. Congratulations! Your shield will be preserved in the Hall of Shields. Congratulations! You placed first.